Hello, Master Duel Central. Guys, let's get to it. We got some huge leaks. Uh, I was just opening my game. I had to update it. I was like, oh my god, if there's an update, there's leaks. There's always content drops in these updates. And oh my god, dude, this one's juicy. We got a maintenance update coming on the August 8th. So that's in like four days. And I'm guessing they're going to either announce this pack or uh, maybe just set up for the next event or so. Anyway, what's really important? We got new dino support, guys. Uh, <laughs> new dino support. Let me just open up this card in a... Yeah, let's do this this way. Okay, perfect, perfect. No, no, sorry. Sorry, DK, but I don't want to pay for your website. Um, so, Dino Morphia. That's right, guys. We're getting the Dino Waifus, man. Dinosaur Fusion Monsters. They got a bunch of traps, too. So, this one takes two Dino Morphia Monsters. Loses attack equal to your life points. You can only use each of the following effects of Ketrogena once per turn. During the main phase, quick effect, you can pay half your LP and banish one Dino Morphia. Normal trap from your grave. This effect becomes that trap's effect when that card is activated. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one level 4 or lower Dino Morphia Monster from your graveyard now i don't know if we're gonna be really able to mix dino morphia with actual like regular dinos probably like kind of but not a lot not like like it's gonna be focused on dino morphia probably but guys i can't wait to build the dino waifus i cannot wait to build this deck i'm so excited for it seriously invincible raid this is the one with the the dino morphia here there's, there's just a ton of packs there's so much to unpack in this update but yeah invincible raid introducing b troopers that wield link and fusion summon monsters uh infusion summons okay First off, super hyped for the Bee Troopers. This is a TCG exclusive archetype, so I'm really happy and relieved to see that it is coming to the game. Uh, the, this is just one of the coolest insect archetypes, and guys, best believe we're building Bee Troopers. I've been super excited to try this in Master Duel, so I'm super happy it's coming out in the game. Definitely, definitely, definitely gonna build this deck, trust me. Then we have the Dino Morphia, who, as they say, the trap setting. <laughs> Yeah, it's this trap setting archetype. It's a trap archetype, okay? It's Dino Eldlich, if you want. You know, like, it's it's the Dino's own little trap deck, but it's cool. It's not lame like Eldlich. It's actually badass and cool because they all look, like, pretty much like Cyber Ninjas and shit. Look, like, fucking so sick, dude. I don't know what to tell you. I can't wait for it. Uh, some extra Nordic, some new Nordic and DD support, like, who cares about Nordic and well okay maybe maybe some people care I'm sorry I'm just I'm too hyped for the Bee Troopers and the Dino Morphia but yeah I got some DD support too got some Nordic support in there uh I I just I can't wait for the Bee Troopers man seriously uh Dino Morphia spend life points to concentrate on powerful effects through trap cards both are now available as new archetypes so this is like the leaked uh description of the pack basically it says up here the following cards are from Dawn of Majesty, Burst of Destiny, or Battle of Chaos and are referenced and are referenced directly in the selection packs description. This list is not it's speculative, it's not comprehensive. So that basically means like these cards here, they're just what we assume like are gonna be in based on what the descriptions are talking about. There's Ruddy Rose Dragon. I think Ruddy Rose was already in the game. Um yeah, I'm pretty sure Ruddy Rose is already in the game. So, you know, they, they got a couple URs that you don't want to get here. They always do that, you know. Uh, we're definitely getting the Giant Bee Trooper. That's sick. While uh, this this card is really good. While this Link Summon card has 3,000 or less attack, your opponent can't target it with card effects. Also, it can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. You can't special summon monsters except insects. You can tribute one insect monster and activate one of these effects. Special summon one Bee Trooper from your deck. This card gains 2,000 attack until the end of this turn. So, it's basically like a big-ass tower's... Uh, but the deck is so good at spamming monsters. It's it's so sick. It's such a cool, really cool deck with resonance, insect, and everything. Plus, you can search Maxi. So it's gonna be really crazy with Maxi in the game. It's gonna be really something. Ooh, that's gonna be spicy. Uh, yeah, I can't wait for that. Uh, Guardian Chimera. I'm not familiar with Guardian Chimera. I, let me check that out real quick. With at least one monster from... Oh, okay, so it's saying basically you can't use Super Poly with it. Because it has to be from your hand or field. Okay, okay. If the, if you can... <laughs> this would be like the best Super Poly uh, target in the game if uh, it didn't say that. Uh, if this card is fusion summoned by spell or card effect, you can draw cards equal to the number of cards used as material from the hand. And if you do destroy cards, your opponent controls equal to the number of cards used as material from the field. You can only use this effect of Chimera once per turn. While polymerization is in your grave, your opponent can't target this card with card effects. So this doesn't seem really that good, to be honest. This just looks kind of mid. The fact that it's level 9 is pretty useful. We could maybe use it in some type of like... Some kind of way to turbo out VFD on top of a fusion deck of some kind. Like I could see this being played in Despia maybe. But uh, yeah, pretty interesting. Not not amazing, but interesting. I'm super hyped for this one though. And uh, we can check some of the other cards here. 
some of the other cards that are speculated. Scale Bomber. Uh, if an insect monster normal special summon to your field, you can special summon this card from your hand. When a monster your opponent control activates its effect, quick effect, and tribute one insect monster, destroy it. That's amazing. It's basically uh, Ghost Ogre, if you will, but on the field. So Ghost Ogre on legs. Uh, Bee Trooper's Cow Buggy. This is one of the most important ones. You can't special summon monsters except insect monsters. This card are nor is normal or special summon. You can special summon one Bee Trooper's Cow Buggy from your hand, deck, or graveyard. So yeah, this one is pretty friggin' amazing. Uh, what's this one here? Nordic Beast. I'm not even reading the Nordic. Sorry guys. DDs. You guys know your decks. I'm not I'm not about that. We got Dino uh, Dinorphia Diplos. Uh, if this card is normal special summon, you can send one Dinomorphia card from your deck to the grave. Then your if your life points are 2,000 or less, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish one trap from your graveyard. Special summon one level 4 lower Dinomorphia monster from your graveyard except Dinomorphia Diplos. So you see like a little destruction effects. We can definitely uh, find some way to destroy it in Dinos. Dinos are good at destroying themselves, so we can definitely do something with that. And oh my goodness. This girl is going to be in the thumbnail, trust me. If this card is normal or special summon, you can set one Dinorphia trap directly from your deck to your spell and trap zone. Then, if your life points are 2,000 or less, this card gains 500 attack. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish one trap from your grave, special summon one level 4 lower Dinomorphia monster from your graveyard, except Dinomorphia Theresia. You can only use each effect of Dinomorphia Theresia once per turn. So I think they made a mistake here when they put Dinorphia instead of Dinomorphia, but it is what it is, uh, you know, Master Dual Meta can't say that's why, that's why we ain't paying. That is why we ain't paying. Uh, yeah, uh, what else do, okay, there's like a lot of cards here, we're not going to go through everything, because uh, we're probably going to be building these decks once the box actually comes out, and we'll do a more in-depth review. There's a couple fusion monsters to look into, uh, but I, and uh, this is the Bee Trooper one here, but uh, yeah, I just, I can't wait to look into this, obviously there's all the Dinorphia, uh, wait, 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 yeah, the, Dino, the Dinomorphia traps and stuff like that. Uh, so we'll be able to take a look at those. Those are going to be like the the main meat of the deck, really. Uh, so anyway, can't wait for this, man. I'm super happy. There's a lot of stuff coming, actually. That's not it. That's not the only pack. We've got Cosmic Ocean. This pack contains a torrent of cards that can give your water deck a major boost. Keep an eye out for the new X number Xyz monster. Cards that can unleash combos with Yumi and cards from the Ice Jade and Marine Sis cards. Not sure exactly. So we're going to get this one here. If we get, if we actually get the Kairiushin, I'm probably gonna build a Kairiu deck because that is such a cool like water control deck. I really wanted to try that deck, but I never got to try it IRL, so I'd love to try it. And I'm glad we're getting a bit more Ice Jade stuff. That's really good. Uh, and we got CXYZ's Nash Knight. I think this card is really good. You can also exceed summon this card by using Nash Knight. You control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't be destroyed by card effects. You can detach one material from this card. Special summon from your extra deck one number exceeds monster that has a number between 107 and 101. In its name, using this face of card you control as material, but destroy it during your opponent's next end phase. Yeah, so basically just uh, it's kind of like a Bahamut shark, but for bigger monsters, you know. So pretty sick card there. Uh, the Marine Cess Aqua Argonaut. Not familiar with this one. I have never really got into uh, Marine Cess. I'm guessing it's really good though, but we'll read it. Your opponent's monsters cannot attack other monsters while this card is in the extra monster zone. Okay. You can only use each of the following effects of Marine Cess Aqua Argonaut once per turn. You can target one water monster. You control one card. Your opponent controls. Return them to the hand. When a spell slash trap card or effect is activated, quick effect. You can special summon one of your Marine Cess monster cards equipped with this card, and if you do negate that activated effect, oh my god, that's actually insane. And this is also an insanely good thumbnail card. So, <laughs> really excited for that one too. We're probably gonna build that. That's crazy. This deck, th this is a really good like control deck. Oh my goodness, dude, Marine Cess, what the heck are you doing to me? But yo, if they're getting boxes like this that are like focused on water, that's pretty sick. I like that idea a lot. A lot of cards in here I'm actually interested in the Ice Jade stuff, pretty interesting. And uh, definitely I want the Kairushin Le Leviathan. This has like a, I think this is the one with a floodgate effect if I recall. While Umi's on the field, each player can only control one face of non-water monster. Yeah, exactly. That effect is so insane, dude. The control with that effect is just amazing. So uh, definitely something to look out for there. Um, and then there's the Newborn Dragon Box. This is another pack. Harness all, the all-new power of the dragons with fusion monsters that use Fallen of Albaz as a material. And a host of other cards that can give Blue Eyes decks a strong boost. Wait, are we getting the Blue Eyes Jet? Yo, we're getting Blue Eyes Jet? Okay, guys, I might have... Oh, I might have to build Blue Eyes, bro. I've been wanting to try this card in real life, but I never did. And we're getting the Mirror Jade, the Ice Blade Dragon. Oh my god, it's over. And we're getting Sinister Sovereign. Whoa, dude. 
Oh my god, dude. This is such a huge leak. What the hell? They put... Bruh, what the hell? That's crazy. That is crazy. Obviously, not all of these are confirmed. They're not all confirmed. Some are just like... I mean, it's obvious if they're adding the blue eye support. There's not that much new blue eye support to add. So, it's probably going to be the Tyrant uh, Dictator of D or Tyrant of D and Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. I could see that. Uh, Mirror Jade is like pretty obvious. And if we are getting Mirror Jade, that's crazy. Imagine if they give us Despia uh, Fusion, right? Uh, branded Fusion. Yeah. Imagine if they give us Branded Fusion, dude. That'd be pretty nasty. That'd be pretty nasty. That's a... Uh, yeah, I got some new dual fields too. Bro, this update is... Oh my god, they got the Medolce field, bro? Yo, I know I know uh, someone called uh, Ichigo in my Discord who's going to be pretty happy about this. Got the nice uh, Marine Sus field, I like that. This grassy one is alright, I guess. I don't love that one as much. Um, and new mates. Hey, yo, what the... <laughs> yo, I like the gecko, bro. I like that. And we got the blue eyes mate too? That's crazy, and they might be finally dropping the Trishula. I know we've known about this one for a long time. Not really sure why they would go for a Vendred mate. Like, who the hell wants a Vendred mate? But, you know, hopefully someone in my comments tells me that they wanted that. Oh, yo! Round profile icons? Let's go, baby! And they got the link arrows, too. Yo, I like that. I like that. I like that round. Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cop one of those round ones, for sure. For sure. New monsters animations. Oh, Bro, how come the god cards still don't have monster animations? What the hell? So now all of these have monster animations. That's great. Uh, this is this encoder. Follow this encoder as well as Jimmy underscore MDC on Twitter. But uh, yeah, Called by the Grave got an animation, guys. Okay, we don't have sound on it, but look at this. It's actually a really sick animation. You get pointed at like that. That goes crazy. That goes so hard, dude. I love that. That is so good. <laughs> So yeah, a lot of cool shit coming to the game. There's probably more shit to unpack that I haven't even seen yet. But uh, this is just my first reaction to the new leaks, to all the new stuff coming. I'm pretty excited about a lot of this. Sorry if I'm almost like uh, stuttering in my words and stuff. I'm just uh, so much stuff in this leak. It's actually crazy. All right, uh, I skipped over this uh, <laughs> while, while getting hyped about the leaks. Uh, casual mode is going to be out very soon. Let's grab, uh, okay, so we're, yeah, it's standard. So I guess they're gonna do different formats. If we have this standard thing here, it seems like they're gonna be doing different formats, maybe, uh, that you can play in just in the casual mode. So that's, that's just amazing. Uh, definitely not penguins, maybe like cheap frogs, because penguins a little too strong for casual mode. Definitely don't, they don't wanna be unfair. And, uh, it's here! Casual mode is here! We are playing in casual mode right now. Casual mode dropped! Let's go! Five hours later. All right, I'm not gonna show you guys the whole game because I was I'm playing against a, a Cyframe deck, and uh, it's just it's been really very slow. A lot of passing, a lot of passing around. One eternity later. And there it goes. There it goes. But yeah, guys, we have finally our casual mode. We have like I was playing some cheap frogs here, you know. We got our casual mode on the ready. But yeah, guys, anyway, uh, thanks thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Shout out to the UCT tier members that will be Raptor Rapture and Bogerman for 20 as well. It's everyone supporting on the Twitch and in the baby tier. Thank you guys so much. Love you, love you, love you. Have a good one. And uh, yeah, peace.